Well, good morning. It's a Monday morning. It's cold outside. It was 80 last week. It'll be 80 next week, but it's uh, in the 50s this week. So, uh, storm blowing through. So, uh, building drawers for the island in the master bedroom right now. And uh, I'm not going to show exactly what I'm doing, but I'm building the drawers to the quarter quarter method or the half half method depending on how you want to refer to it and uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll take a look at the drawers so here we go and just to close the loop talked about the Chevelle in the last video and as I stated is that it's going to be sitting up above I'll have a work area for my woodworking down below and then my pickup sits about a third underneath the rack in the back so I can have two cars between here and the garage door and then my other car sitting there and then once we finally empty all the other boxes out here as I could actually fit a fourth car well actually the wife's car fits over there but there could be a, a fifth car I guess here on the other side of the of the rack here's the island that's in the closet there are 10 drawers on this side and 10 drawers on the back side now the uh, I've got two of the small drawers out. We'll see those in a minute here or so. But uh, all the drawers are done. And once I, I get uh, all the drawers on the back side done, working on those right now, I'll then be putting in the front oak plywood. I'm not oak plywood. I'll be putting in the solid oak drawer fronts. And so that uh, comes next. Okay, so I'm, as I stated, I'm using the quarter-quarter method, and what, where I differ from everybody else is that they're using a dado blade on the table saw, and I'm leaving my table saw with my current set of blades in it so I can cut all my wood for the drawers, and I'm using my router table to do the machining and making the uh, lock rabbit bits. So, uh, so the quarter-quarter method says you're going to cut a quarter inch groove. You're going to cut a quarter inch groove and and a quarter inch tenon on the receiver. And then it'll fit right inside the groove. Put your glue in there and you're all set. The difference is as I'm using Baltic birch plywood, which is full dimension, so a half inch plywood is really half inch, quarter inch is no kidding, a quarter inch. So if you're cutting a quarter inch dado and a quarter inch rabbit, the problem is quarter and quarter is, is that there's no room for a glue joint. And you see that I have a nice joint here that will take, a, take the, the glue and become uh, one with with the with the world if you will and the other thing is is uh, because I'm using plywood there is no movement in the seasons for plywood so I glue the bottoms in as well as the front and back so that makes a uh, you might, uh, a door that is really a, a drawer that is really solid so I set up my quarter inch um, a blade so here's the difference. Instead of a quarter inch blade bit, I'm using a seven millimeter bit because a quarter inch plywood or a quarter inch is about six and a half millimeters. And then when you add your glue into your grooves and the stick you're in there, it becomes seven millimeters is actually quite a nice size. So anyway, that's the difference that I do. Okay, so when you put your drawer together that you've cut to your quarter quarter is now you have a locking rabbit joint right there. And your box is square because uh, you have four, four rabbits or four dados that you gotta put in. And what's good about the drawer, drawer building this way is because you, you have your lock, your locking rabbit joints front and back, you only need two clamps when you put it together and so you save time. Save a lot of time. 
Okay, this is one of the small drawers that's in the island. And you notice I've got it taped off and I've also sealed it, sealed the inside of the drawer with shellac. And I'll be talking about this more in the next video. Okay, so that's my little video on making the drawers. And uh, as you saw, I had two drawers out that I had shown you that uh, I've actually uh, coated them with shellac on the inside and you'll find out why in the next video. So give me a thumbs up, ring the bell if you need to know when the next video is coming out, but have a good one. See ya.